Merry Boxing Day everyone, is that a real thing? No? Maybe? I've just made it up anyway. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays if you celebrated. How's your stomachs? Are you full from yesterday's Christmas dinner? Well, no, because I have a late Christmas gift for you. Something to really sink your teeth into. We are about to witness, as a few of you have recommended all over the place, a few of you have recommended this, and I'm about to serve you up, potentially, the end boss of despisable victims. Let's go. It's been a long, hellish nightmare yes. of over around seven years. Seven years. Mental. And you're still with him. He calls me his wife all the time. What's up, Seekers? Okay. Welcome back to another episode of Scamfish presented by SocialCatfish.com. Hello. Paused it because I can't really hear it, so that means you probably can't really hear it. One second. He does not, as far as I know, have like a Ghana accent. A Ghana he accent. He does not have a Nigerian accent. Okay. He does not have like an Indian accent. He has none of that. So he receives money all the time from this poor I know woman. Them. Th their operation has been stealing probably over a quarter million dollars from this woman. Colin! Oh my god! You just get out of the shower? This episode is a roller coaster. So strap in and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> But before we hop into it, Go we have that. a quick disclaimer. Oh, we just want to talk about some of the statements that Jody made. There's no excuse for the things that Jody said. Yeah. But uh, we were here to help someone, and unfortunately, uh, things took a turn in the middle of our investigation. Her comments about race are unacceptable, and they don't represent us as a company. You know, we wanted to really let you guys know what this experience was like oh. and help you, you know, walk along the journey with us. Oh, we hope you guys enjoy I'm seated it, and, uh, now. Work really hard on this. Yeah. I'm seated on. now. When something begins with a disclaimer that the views and the comments of someone doesn't reflect us as a company, we're in trouble. We appreciate you. For those appreciate of you, you just well. joining us, we covered Jody's story on a previous episode of Scamfish. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, my name is Jody Ebert. I happen to be on one night and. This Colin. guy came on and wanted to chat. Okay. His name is Colin O'Connor. She wanted us to verify a, a man by the name of Colin, who she had been communicating with for seven years. This woman had to so be cringe. the most manipulated victim we've ever dealt with. All of the information pointed back to this man being 100% a fake. Sorry. I, I know... This isn't the first episode, and but I've been recommended to come here. Um, <laughs> you make that joke in your own head. But please tell me, if you see someone's handwriting like this, you are going to assume, am I dating a child? Which is very wrong, by the way. Can you look at this? What handwriting is this supposed to be exactly? I'm... The, the O in Jody has collapsed and looks like a whale's tail. I, I know you were trying to go for a heart there, but that is one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen in my life. The best thing that you can do is block him. Anytime he tries to reach out to you, you block him. We so sat down and talked to her she for the first time in a year, and this is what she had to say. Going back to the original investigation we did, what were things that you were not happy with, just so that we understand? The photo where he's kneeling by those signs, he said that was taken in Afghanistan. I noticed he looks young in that picture too, so it could have been at an earlier time when he was younger. So I feel like we did come with enough information to... Side note, absolutely love his glasses. Maybe I'll get them as my next pair. Something clear, you know? You can really see my vision. <laughs> Goodness. I'm, I just want to point this out. If you go to someone for help and then they help you, you don't like their help. Why are you asking for help in the first place if you're not going to have an open mind about anything and you're just going to continue to be scammed anyway? So I feel like we did come with enough information to prove that he was fake. But just for you, we'll go back. 
and give you some more clarity? Uh, I hope so. And will you go on camera also then when you get us together and apologize and do more thorough investigations on other catfishes wow. that could have been possibly a true romance? Only if you promise to apologize if I'm right. Okay, and if you apologize that I'm right. <laughs> Shut the F up right now. You're giving off a very big, big arrogance as if the catfish team don't know what they're doing. But you clearly do. Nice. Seven years and you've never met someone. <laughs> All right. Good deal. All right, you guys. We knew we had to step it up a notch to get Jody to come to terms. How, How we were going to do that was still a bit unclear. Unless you, it was <laughs> unless you physically drag the scammer to her house and say... Look, you... Here. It was hard to understand why she still believed this man wasn't lying to her. Our team went into this with an open mind Deluded. and decided we had to meet with Jody in person to Looking understand her what exactly she saw something. that we didn't. So we flew her out to California from Nebraska wow. so we can meet her A face to face. You'll, you'll land at 8.39 p.m. and then I will have um, an, a car out waiting for you to pick you up, okay? Okay. Full right, service. How are, you, how are you gonna get food? I do have ten dollars on my card. If I need anything, I might could get a little something. Oh. Then maybe in the airport. You or got ten dollars because you gave Denver, it all to this guy, right? I will need something at the motel. Okay. I can I can uh, like Postmates you or or Grubhub you something. We tried uh -huh. to send Jody money so she could buy herself uh -huh. some food while she was traveling to California. Right. But we couldn't. She had no bank account and she was banned from using several financial institutions like Western Union and MoneyGram. The companies flagged her account because they also felt that she was being scammed by Colin. But the car will pick you up. Fair. You can just let us know when you land and stuff just so we know that everything's going okay, okay? Okay. All right. That's such a that's such a typical older person using FaceTime video chat kind of just you can only see this portion of their head. I want to see this, not this. And if <laughs> if this is looking at you through your phone, this specifically my one, you're going to think I've got some caterpillars on my head. Sorry if there was any dry bits there. I have sensitive dry skin. Okay. It's a vlog. Yes, Jody the YouTuber. The next day, she arrived and landed in California. Probably be canceled. We met her at a hotel a few miles from our office. Most definitely would Brianne be canceled. from our team sat down with Jody to look through all of the information she had on some old phones and notepads she brought. Our goal was to organize a list of names and addresses Jody had either sent or received money from. So the right. person that you sent this to, Ofari, you said he's known as... Well, right now he's known as Samuel. He's never told me the official last Samuel's last name. Right. Carry Is on. there someone else that's receiving money? Now it's being sent to a Sandra Burns. What is wrong with you? Do you know, I understand you are in love with this person, right? But when someone asks you, you've never met, I always must clarify, you've never met, you've never met, you've never met. If someone asks you to send money to this person, that person, oh, it's switching now, could you send it to this person? What is wrong with you? Do you think that's normal? This letter here, this is from Janet, correct? Who? Okay. Janet. So this is Janet, your dad's friend, helping you out till your dad returns home. One more week than your dad until he comes home? Uh, I think I was told it was kind of a mistake on um, how she did that, but I, I have no idea. I tried asking him about it here a little more recently and it sounds like it was a mix-up. So you weren't expecting to receive this? What is going on this here? This is a random I, I was expecting the money, but I was not expecting that. Jody was obviously in denial. 
she made excuses for Colin through this whole interview. She brought several calendar notebooks specifically to remind her for when she needed to send money to Colin. These notebooks dated all the way back to 2016. She even had Colin's birthday and dates he told her that he would be coming back to the US from Ghana. Honestly, we've dealt with countless victims and have never seen anything quite like this. Same. Like here, January 2016. That's a whole diary. Colin, $300. That's what approximately I was kind of sending him back then. It's kind of got that throughout the calendar until Colin $500 March and then uh, 300, uh, 500. And then I got like a total here of what I have sent so far, I think. And what do you mean then you I kind of quit keeping track. <laughs> at any point if you have a diary of you noting down how and when you send money to someone and how much you're sending and then you lose track that might be one of the first signs that you're really really messing up here at any point did you feel that it was strange sending money to all these different people that you never met he told me back then that he couldn't receive money because he didn't have the ID. And then he said, he got to explaining it more later that you need a government ID to receive money. I Do you need a government ID to receive money, Jody? Answer me this question. My voice has gone sky high. It's in the air with your delusion right now. I completely, fully, my life depending on it, trusted him. What? What do you mean? I hope for the best, but Your expect life. the worst. Mm -hmm. And then I'm able to kind of myself mentally prepare. He's not coming. He's not coming. Why do I do this? He's not coming. He does not, as far as I know, have like a Ghana accent. He does Ghana. not have a Nigerian accent. He does not have like an Indian accent. He has none of that. Sometimes Colin needed more money than Jody could provide. She even thought about selling her mattress. What? At some point. She went as far as donating plasma to help raise the money to get Colin home. But I did plasma because things were so rough and I was sending so much money. I wanted some more money. We needed more money for me and my mother. He, I've said this before. If you have to literally bend over backwards and donate blood for money, you are messing up severely. No one is worth that. I'm sorry. If you're donating blood, giving it to your mother, or you're donating it to a family member, you're donating it for a good cause, cool. You're donating blood for money to send to someone you've never met. When I hear this accent, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. But when I was doing it, the prices had gone up on how much you would get. And my size, I got the top dollar. I did do it for three, four months, five, six, That's somewhere insane, along in there, though. between three to six months. Some of it I used for him to put with my other money and hoping that he would get home. And as we are here now today in 2022, he didn't. We can see you have a lot of emotion. Uh, there's a lot of emotion invested in this. There is a ton. Because nobody understands. Understands what? I still say. What? And I always say. What? Not all online romances are scams. You guys yes. have pulled out that a lot. Is correct. And I but appreciate that. Romance online, the ones that are real, I don't think involve sending thousands and thousands of dollars. I almost said pounds there. But even if you're in the UK, 
if you have to send thousands and thousands of pounds to someone, it's probably not a real relationship. But it sounds like the majority of them come from Tinder, Twitter, Plenty of Fish. What is that? We were able to collect a lot of names for our list. With all these money mules involved, we knew we had to reach out to our good friends Trilogy Media to do some footwork. They arrived and interviewed Jody to get even more details. We have a company in a, in a YouTube channel called Trilogy Media. Uh, we've been around for about six years, and we uh, our main mission is like hunting scammers. Who paid for it? I don't know. What do you mean? Okay, this know. is the stuff that you're doing. This is the little. Watch some yeah. of their stuff mm. before. What do you mean? Not you? What's her name? North Channel. I, I particularly like so the tall one. Boxes are coming oh, from the United States. Name. Coming to this address. Wire fraud, money fraud, okay. mail fraud, all of it. Who gave you that permission? Are you Trilogy Media? You open Instagram account. He's Trilogy Media. Trilogy Media is known for confronting scammers and money mules face to face. We knew if anybody could help us crack this scam, it would be them. Go check out their YouTube channel. They also will be releasing their own version of this video. I met him approximately in 2015. I had just kind of broken up with a guy and decided to check out some online things. So I went with Match. Right. Some other sites, other people, more down in New York City that were doctors, lawyers, you know, very well to do. And I, oh, they're not going to be interested in me. And a lot of them were black. Well, sorry, I don't really believe in interracial meetings. Swipe the other way on those. I didn't want to even try. I was on there for a while. No, no clicks, no matches, no nothing. Oh. I wonder why life is not giving you someone who's close by and probably a good person. I wonder why. Usually I go, mm, I can understand this, I can understand that, but not going to make any excuses for you here. You, I, you have in my mind right now, you've painted a massive X and from here on out, I, my despise for you is growing every second by 70%. We're in the thousands right now. And then I just decided to go on one night, see what was going on, and um, he came on. He contacted me. He offered to video chat, and at the time, oh. I had the no hell, idea. Then? if I think I knew my computer would do that, but I had no idea how to do it. I'm the dummy there that said, no, never mind. What was his excuse or request or his story that money all of a sudden started appearing in your relationship how does it come up i think he was still in afghanistan of course he was and his son david had come down with malaria this was the first big money he wanted me to send three hundred dollars to help with david's hospital wow is that him and also That's crazy. about that time, I said, why is he smiling? Military, use your insurance. Isn't David on your military insurance? That's a good question. I think he said that they don't take that insurance. Oh, right. So the military you're part of, when you go to different parts of the world, no, you can't use it. It's forbidden. That makes perfect sense. Wow. Ken is, this is 100% real. He is your boyfriend. No question. And one is a hundred percent a scam. Pick a number. Where are you right now? For you, for yourself. I thought it was sugar coat in it. I cannot really say. I have to say maybe a four or a five both ways. Oh, okay. He had right. paid everything. Everything was ready to go. Oh, I... so hold on a second here. Um, Mr. Colin, who for some reason was called John a few seconds ago, has the money for a plane ticket to come over and meet this woman who he's been talking to for a while. Cool. I'm in love now. But he doesn't have the money to send to his son for treatment as he's in the hospital. I tried to check the weather earlier in the day for over there. Any hint of rain. I couldn't pick up anything. I, I don't know if I was looking in the wrong spot. What does that mean? <sighs> this was really hard. Well... Floods. Oh. It floods the house. 
and he had the these documents gold documents verifying on on some bars he's got got ruined uh, needless no, to say, say those documents were ruined that oh. he could they could not read them okay and he needed new documents and then the barrage of delays and problems on getting the documents redone he had to start all over always gold and I think bars, the price man. went up he had to get those documents redone ah. before he could fly one of them actually has my name on it why Have you seen a picture of that 50 kilograms oh. 50 50 kilograms. Have you seen a wow, that's 50 kilos more gold bars than I have, Jody. So fair play, you've done the right thing here. Have you seen a picture of that with your name on it? Okay. Yes. National Minerals Agency, certification of wow. region and ownership. This is certified that... Yeah, ownership is spelt wrong. Jody O'Connor is Just laugh, please. Benefied, bonafide, owner. bonafide, owner of 50 kilograms or 23 carat. 96% purity of gold, original wow. Ghana, wow. by the part of the National Mineral Agency. Okay. Under Crazy. Mines Mineral Why didn't he trade the bars in to pay for his own luggage? <sighs> Good question. That's another long story. Okay. Have you ever spoken to him on the phone? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Many times. I'm dying for you guys to hear him mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah, and um, the way he answers the phone, his laugh. Let me try a different number. I know Trilogy Media like to, they're, they're kind of like me. Call they rejected. will stick he it on you. That's what that I'm hoping for no here. It takes two showers. He oh, must he... be in the shower or he doesn't have minutes. Oh, okay. Uh. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you're calling someone and their number is not real and the, the little voice message is telling you the number is not registered, this number doesn't exist. I think that might be a massive red flag that we're waving, don't you think? Hey, Colin! Oh my God! You just get out of the shower? Yikes. Oh my God, it's so good to hear your voice. Right, Let, let's take, as I've rolled back right now, like as the price is if you're from the UK, what the i've never seen a victim act like this wow here's the rabbit hole right she this is her she's on the rabbit hole this phone call now oh she's she's gone right inside the rabbit hole and youtube that is not a case for demonetization please <laughs> pull that right back up Goodness gracious me! I'm here with some. I'm I'm here with some friends. Please talk to him. Why is she shaking, bro? Hey, Colin, how you doing? Hey, uh, my name is Vlad. How you doing, Colin? Are you alright? Yeah, I'm doing good. And how are you? Oh, great. Uh, me and my friend um, Ryan. We friends of Jody, and it's a group of people who love this woman so much. Uh, we cannot wait to see when you guys gonna get married. Like, w w w when is gonna happen? When you guys gonna meet? When are you gonna finally come to America? Yeah, I'm coming soon. It's been way too long, right? Yeah, I know. Co uh, Colin, would it be okay if we we sent you a text? Like, maybe we can arrange something really special for you two when you when you come. Like, maybe we can help and uh, like maybe even surprise Jody with something. Don't, yeah, you so know, Jody would not know. Um, can we do that? Oh, okay. that's amazing. Can you, we'll, uh, we'll get your number from Jody. We'll, we'll send you a, t a text if that's okay. All right. Okay. All right. Do you have an approximate day when you're going to be landing here in, um, in so America? When, when, when do you think it's going to happen? When the flood's going to be over? I think, that, I think next week, yeah. Next week? Oh. Oh, so you know the time that the flood will go away. That's really get this man working for NASA or something. Next week, yeah. Next okay, week, no, next week. no rain next week. Okay, that's, that's, great. that's amazing. So your documents okay? Did you get uh, money from Jody for um for gold, for everything? Yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Yeah. That's okay. great, that's great. Yeah. You got your tickets. Uh, how many luggages are you bringing? Because oh. I want to bring like uh, full of muscles, you know, like we'll uh, help you people. With the bags. We want to yeah, help with the bags. Definitely. How many bags do you have? Oh, you've got the tickets as well. 
So you're re you're really committed to to next week being the week that the flood disappears. Oh my goodness! I'll say one thing if I can remember what that one thing is. I've remembered it. That voice is very clearly an accent, right? And obviously, Jody, for some reason, or who knows what the reason is, gonna lend it to being just a disgusting human being. Probably doesn't mix with a lot of people of different di different races. So, you know, we can. I can. I can. Sure, she might not have picked up the accent because she doesn't mix with people of different races because she's against it. What a weird thing to... I'm against it. Uh, the bags. How many bags do you have? Well, I have like six bags. Oh, six, six bags. Six. Oh, wow. six. Beautiful. I'm bringing, we're bringing six guys. That's great. Uh, that's amazing. Like, uh, yeah. Are you still, you still going to have that 50 kilograms of gold for Jody with your name on it? Oh, I'm pretty sure the the airplane services, why have I called it that, I don't know. But the airport staff can't wait for you to bring 50 kgs of gold onto the plane. That's You're great. such, wow, Jody, Jody is that's, happy. That's great, that's uh, great. You would never ever would hurt Jody, right? You would never lie to Jody, right? You're an honest person. Yeah, I, yeah, I love it. Crazy. That's, well, that's great. That's great she, we're, you know. we're very close to her, and if we ever found out that she was being hurt, you know, it would, it, it it would be, very be a, be a uh, very big problem for you. Yeah. Nothing to say. But what? anyway, anyway, uh, nice uh, talking to you. Nice talking to you. I'll uh, send you a text later. Okay. Okay, we're gonna send you a text. Uh, make sure the gold is secure, and we're gonna see you in America. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. No, bye. Bye. Uh, Jody, wanna say something? Hey, how have yeah, you been okay. doing? Yeah. Are you good? What's wrong? Do I hear Samuel and Priscilla there or the kids? Yeah, everybody's fine. Everybody's okay. No, but they're not in bed yet? Yeah. You know, I'll say one thing. The, on, the, on the scammer's side of things right now, for seven years to be on the phone listening to her, he's worked for his money, hasn't he? Yeah. Oh, she has a tattoo Wow. There. Is it of Colin? Tell him hi. Hi, David. Hi. Take care, okay. I'm what? gonna... I'm gonna test you, okay. The Did accent is so okay. clear there. I'll text you back later. I'm a little busy. Okay. Okay, take care. Take care. Take care. Love you. Right. See you next I week. I better. Oh, yeah, you're I so cringe, you. man. Love you too. Bye. Like, love you. He's so quick to. He wants to go. Why has she dropped it like that? Jody. What's. That's an African accent. Not from what I've heard. Oh, it's an African shut accent. the it's hell up, line. man. So here's the thing. Like <laughs> not from what I've heard. Who have you been hearing exactly? Because I thought you. Oh, just it doesn't make sense, man. I just don't understand. So here's the thing, like we talked yesterday, right? And you had how much in your account? Ten dollars. Ten dollars. So we flew you here, bought you dinner. Like you're literally putting I wouldn't have, him by over the way. yourself. Like you literally didn't have enough. Like if, if we wouldn't have done that, you would not probably have not eaten dinner yesterday. But if you came here with ten dollars in your account, how did you get him five hundred dollars last week? Did you have five hundred and ten dollars in your account last week? Say it then. What are you I'm doing asking, right judging. now? I'm just asking. I don't know if I really want to say. How did you send it to him if you can't use Western Union? I sent it to Celine. Cash in a box? Okay. So ironic. Next. Well, so ironic that the racist is in a relationship who she doesn't know that they are most likely a different race. Wow, it's it's funny. You have to laugh, right? Colin is absolutely spinning and dancing in whatever club he uses that money in. Okay. FedEx. Okay. Supposed to send it to Colin. Okay. And as far as I know, he has been sending it. But He's you've been never good. talked to Celine. No. It looks like we may have found our main money mule. 
Jody has been sending money to Salim's house for years. When we first met Jody, we sent Colin a link to track his IP and it came back to New York. Salim also lives in New York. Salim is a friend supposedly of Colin's that he knew from. It's supposedly, not supposedly. Yeah? Educate yourself, you racist piece of scum. He knew from Texas. He has been the consistent also thread in this <sighs> mesh of mess. How old is he? I'm not sure. Uh, I know that you're not in interracial uh, dating. What would it be if you will meet your lovable person and he will be different nationality, different skin color, and he's not exactly as his picture? What would be that your reaction? I don't know. Oh, Using the know. tools on our website, social... You would be hurling the every single slur under the sun. Don't say you don't know. I know what you would do, you scum. Tools on our website, socialcatfish.com, we were able to find out more information on this guy that's been accepting all of Jody's money. Trilogy Media will fly to New York and attempt to confront Salim face to face. Damn. And you will not believe what happened. <laughs> oh, oh, we're, we're stinging right now. That's what was going on. Get the bumblebees, we're stinging. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking for uh, Salim. I will do whatever the hell I want. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna do anything? Salim, you know what's going on here? Huh? You know what's going on here? He is not military blonde blue eye six five guy from America. Your boyfriend that you've been in a relationship, it's a freaking guy. See that? That's what we like, man. No sugarcoating, bro. This ain't a Victoria sponge. After everything that transpired with Trilogy Media and Salim in New York, we flew Jody back out Again? to California and invited her to our Fly office. Fly me to California, guys. I want to witness the sun, the sea, all the beaches. Please stop flying this racist out her to our office with a mix of all of the information that trilogy was able to gather on Salim and all of the information that we pulled on Colin we felt we had a good shot at getting Jody to come to terms first off you called me out like about four months ago you called me out you said we did a shitty job doing this right so we rallied the oh. troops uh, to do this so a big reason why we wanted trilogy to go out there and talk to Salim was to kind of show you who you've been sending money to and Trilogy was thankfully able to document everything for us. So we'll go ahead and just run through this and then uh, Art and Ashen will just kind of let you know what they experienced. Just looking at her pisses me off. I don't know what it is about so her. So this is Salim's house. Ready? We approach this in a similar way that we do when we're trying to locate money mules, which is we give the scammer a tracking number for a package they're expecting so that we can have the best chance of them being home when we show up when they're expecting a package. I had Jody overnight a package to Salim. Jody contacted Colin to let him know that she was sending him and Salim a gift. I'm sorry. First of all, his name is John again. That's another red flag. John, Colin, which one is it, you scumbag? Anyways, the, my point I'm going to make here is if someone texts you as, as a reply to I'm going to send you a gift and they say, okay, honey, hopefully it's money. I'm taking my gift back, you b I made sure that there was no money in that package she was sending. I even had FedEx open up the package and send me photos of what was inside. Uh, um, I have a delivery for Salim for Unit 3. Thank you. So this first time we went to the door, we had a hell of a time getting anyone to tell us anything because, what was it, Salim's roommate? Yeah, the first one, it was a um, tall guy. Um, he said, like, I'm his roommate. I'm looking for uh, Salim. Oh, is that work? What time uh, did he go to work early? Yeah. Do you know what time he's coming back? Yeah. So he up to deliveries? 
Yeah, the first one, it was a um, tall guy. Um, he said, like, I'm his roommate, and he's at work right now. He's a truck driver. Uh, he's not at home. No, he's at Domino's. Huh? That was a lie. He's not a truck driver. Why they going to Domino's? He says he's, uh, he's driving a truck. He was like, he's off to deliveries right now. Um, let me call Drew. If he works at Domino's, he's doing deliveries for something. He definitely works at that Domino's, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's our Cause next. When I, yeah, because when I called, he was like, the guy was like, he's not here right now. Yeah. Wow. Like, wow. like that could have even been Salim, though. Yeah. We thought that he's working in pizza nearby, right? So we went to his work, kind of allegedly. Work maybe I'll order hey, after good morning. this. Maybe I'll order after this. And maybe Salim will bring it. I know that's physically not possible, all right? Relax. Good, how are you? Good. We're actually looking for our friend Salim. Very tall? Yes. Oh, okay. Very, very dark, dark. Yes. Uh, I think he's... Uh... Hold on. Yeah, he's like a tall guy. He's what? He's what? He's huh? They claimed what? to not know the real name of this person that they were referring to, but they said his nickname was Dumb Money, which is kind of interesting. Um, so you don't know if he's working later or they have a schedule? I'm not sure if he's working today. I'm not sure about that. But you don't know his name? But does he work here? Um, yes, if, I think he's the person that you're looking for, yes. Yeah. After Trilogy what? Sorry, did, did man, did he apply to the Domino's position and his name was Dumb Money? What is wrong with you? Yes or no? Don't criminally impl- That's not the right word, but you know what I'm trying to say. Don't lie, okay? After Trilogy left the pizza place and got into their car, they received a call from an unknown number. Oh. Hello? Hello? Who, who is that? Jody, I got a message to call this number that there are some people, I think, in New York that are surrounding the house. Uh, Jody. 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 This is, um, yep. this is Ashton and Art. And Drew, remember? We met in LA. Yeah. Yeah. How are you? Sorry, you've just called Salim's number to try and warn him that they're trying to sting him. Oh, Joe, I don't give a shit about you, all right? To be honest, I didn't give a shit when I found out you were racist. I don't give a shit now. Find out what's going on in New York. What, what happened? What, what did they tell you? Uh, did, did Salim or Colin talk to you? Well, Jody. And he said he said that there are some people that I sent a package yesterday. I guess I should not have done. I thought it was something innocent, and I gave a note to Celine to call Catfish, and I guess the package has arrived, and now there is something surrounding his house, and I wonder what is going on. It's us surrounding the house of the scammer. He's a cash mule. Yep. We are tracking that package down to confront Salim and figure out who he is. Colin told me to call this number and uh, uh, tell me to tell you to tell them to back off. Well, have Colin call me directly because I will tell him what's up. I had asked you to arrange for Colin to call us. Hello? Yeah, hello. Yeah, what's oh. up? Hello, Colin. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm you? How you doing? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing fantastic. Yeah, that's good. That's great. Do you remember me? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, this is Art and Ash and Jody's friends. Okay. Remember you made a promise? So he's just gonna you say... You said that you will never, ever take advantage of Jody. Oh, is it? Okay. You know, Shut the hell up, man. I'm, I'm to be with you. Shut the hell up. 
So uh, why don't you do? How about let's do this? Let's let's hop over to WhatsApp and we'll do a little video talk, a little video chat. Yes. Oh. Ah. Uh. I don't give it. I don't. I don't give two shits about your problems. Good. Here's what's going on. We know. We, Colin, listen. We know exactly what's going on. We know about you. We know about Salim. We know, we know where are. everyone lives. We know you're scamming her. We know you're taking advantage of her. Shut up. Shut. Shut. Shut your mouth. For hey, a I will say one thing. Ashton, right here. Not only does he somewhat look like me. Maybe I'm reaching there, but you know. <laughs> I like what they do, all right? Just get in there, right? Full, just... Ah, ha, 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 you dirty bitch, I'm coming for you. Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. None of this, oh, well, yeah, I like, I love the catfish team, but sorry, they're just a bit too... You know, they're just a little bit too soft. Too much of that, you know? Listen, your gig is up. Okay. I don't like how you ram into them and everything, and it seems like you don't give them a chance. She's still to going on, really. To lie again? To talk, Jesus. explain things. Explain things. I want you to know I'm not coming in. Oh, okay. I've told you. You are a liar. You are I'm a liar. I'm going to believe your word. You've been lying for eight years. Okay, then, vid vi then video chat me right okay, now. Okay, FaceTime us. On WhatsApp, call me on video. And I've told you. Well, your son can wait. Yeah. This is important. If Hold on, you're busy with your son, but you're on the phone anyway. So you might as well switch the phone call to a video call, Mr. Colin. It doesn't make sense. Okay, just have patience. You have... Have patience. Colin, I don't care what you have to say. Everything you say is horseshit. Yes. I want a video call from you in one hour. Because you're a piece of shit scammer. <laughs> You're a piece of shit scammer. Oh. You got one hour. No so threat was cop, said, by the way. Your boy. No threat. Okay, There's no threat. The hell I want. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, there is now. You gonna do anything? So then we went back to the house to try again. Right, Salim there now. And Magically. this time we got the landlord oh. to answer the door, and we were uh, up front. We were honest about everything. Why we were there? We're there to talk to Salim. She knew Salim very well. We said that he's expecting money from a Jody. Um, he's at work, um, but he didn't know a Jody. Um, and but uh, he did not know Jody. He he did not. He doesn't know Jody. Yeah. Either. No, he he don't. Yeah. He doesn't. Right. The landlord is giving off very suspicious vibes as well. Straight away, he doesn't know Jody. Blah blah. Relax. Rela are you are you in on it? Relax. No. Yeah. He he yeah. He getting deliveries from Jody every single month. Every month he's yeah. getting yes. Oh, yeah. from Jody. Yeah, he knows Jody. Oh, well. So, someone is lying to you. Yeah, I'm so mm -hmm. sorry. Are you, are you on the phone with him? Uh, no. <laughs> yes, yes you are. Can we talk to him, please? Uh, please. He, he don't know uh, Jody Ebert. We'll explain it. We'll we explain it to him. Can you put him in the speaker? Him? Yes. This is my fault, okay. I know, I'm sorry. Can quickly explain we'll, we'll Yeah, really quickly, yes. We'll call him if, if okay, uh, give us a number. Okay, just listen, hold on. She actually called Salim, so we spoke to Salim. She called Salim on her phone while we're standing at the door. Salim claimed to have no idea who Jody was. He, uh, he claimed that he was a truck driver. Okay. Uh, the manager had no idea why he was receiving cash. Hello. Hi, Salim. Uh, we have a package here for uh, a courier delivery that needs a signature. Um, and it was overnighted, so it's supposed to be delivered right now. No, it needs to, it's specifically the sender yeah. requested that you have to sign it. We cannot live with anybody else besides you. What time are you coming back? Um, 11.30ish, 12. You'll be home at 12? Yeah. Because it's almost 12. 12 p.m. Okay, where can we meet, where can we meet you then? I'm a truck driver, I work in Jersey. And why you guys can't leave it and my neighbor to sign for Because the he sender needs a signature. Because it's specified that it needs... There, it looks like, it looks like there is, yeah, it looks like it's cash because it's got open and transit. So when there is cash involved, we need to get a signature. Yeah, I see a hundred right there. But, yeah, uh, there is, uh, there is more money inside. I mean, but why is this person sending you money? That's a good question. Do you know? We can come to you. We just have to get the package delivered by noon, or else we have to return it to sender. Okay. 
But she's in California. I mean, you don't know a Jody in California? Wow, who's sending you cash? Thank you. And she said, well, Salim, you don't know this lady. Why are you then accepting cash from her? Oh, so, switch. The switch up. The switch up. The landlord is now against Salim. It's a movie out here. I, I called Colin on that, too. So why would he lie? I said, Colin, he may not know me, but he kind of knows of me. Oh, no, he didn't know me. He claimed no responsibility for that package whatsoever, even though it had his name on it. Salim, you know what's going on here? Huh? You know what's going on here, don't you? You know what's in this package? Yeah. Yeah. Salim, this money that's right now in this package, it's a stolen money. So, it here, so Salim, here's what's going to happen. We are going to be here in the area for a few hours if you want to meet and talk to us. Otherwise, we're taking this to the police and we're going to bring the FBI to your front door because we know exactly what you're doing. And we know where this money comes from. We know you receive it every month from Jody for the last eight years. So cut the bullshit. Eight years? Yes. Cut yes. the bullshit. And we can either talk or we can go to the police and they'll be back here very soon. Which one's yes, it going to be? There is a camera. Okay. I don't need to be on camera. Okay. No problem. So, so, so what, we, what is going to be? Are we going to talk? I'm at work. So when I start at that time, I get off at 1130 or 12. Okay. What's your phone number? Yeah, what yes. is it? We'll text you. 646-419-5412. Okay, we called that number earlier. No one answered. No, 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 no. I know you're not involved. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Thank you. Salim, uh, if you're not going to show up in uh, 30 gonna, to 60 minutes. If you're not going to answer my call, we're going to the police. Okay, no problem. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, no problem. Uh, thank you, guys. No, what thank a weird you. thing to say. Would like, I can explain to you what's going on if you want to hang up and we can tell you so you know what your tenant is doing uh I don't know. you want to know tell you it's for your wait, information wait, let me record it for someone yes else please also. sure thing exactly uh, sure thing he leaves okay, go ahead go ahead with your information uh -huh. okay so this guy salim mm -hmm. tijani is facilitating Crazy. money fraud and uh, mail fraud and money laundering Mm. He is working with a scammer out of Africa, and he's stealing money from this lady named Jody for the last eight years. Mm. This guy in Africa is pretending to be a guy named Colin in the, one of those romance scams. Mm. And Salim is his money mule. Okay. So Jody sends cash to him all the time from every social security Every single check, month. Every month. On the 4th. And we're here to find out. This is not a, a, we're not a courier service. This, okay. We're here to talk to Salim about his crimes. Okay. We're from the media. So, uh, in that time, you could have started a family. So you know, got a real job. Is, uh, you know, he'll be, he'll is, a, is a criminal. He's moving out. Okay. Yo, <laughs> he's getting evicted. So Good. He receives money all the time from this poor woman, and we uh -huh. interviewed the woman. Uh, a couple she lives in, Wisconsin, um, she lives in uh, uh, Nebraska. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, he's they, they've the, their operation has been. Is that a uh, you know what stain on his shirt? Playing probably over a quarter million dollars <laughs> from this woman, okay. and she's donating plasma to get more money to send because she thinks. That's she's crazy, by the way. So, so it's a romance scam. Romance scam. Yep. Yeah. So then he gave us his number, and we called oh, him she's just immediately so after, much. and then later that day, and what he just connected do? his phone. You said you don't Sorry. believe in interracial relationship, right? Your boy, look at you, look at him, freaking general, blonde, blue eyes, amazing guy. But meanwhile, since you don't believe in the racial marriage or relationship or whatever you believe. You were sending to African American guy, not blown blue eyes guy, and that's uh, why I lost my shit. But you, the one who don't believe in interracial relations. It's funny. His accent, his associates, everybody from Africa, his roommate from fucking Africa. He has accent. Salim has accent, and your boy, Italian accent. No, it's an African Ghana Nigerian accent. I haven't really detected any Nigerian accent. Come on, Jody. Come, Come on. on. They've been in this business for decade. And they know immediately when they heard the accent, oh, that's the dude is from Africa. We heard these as independent, nothing to do with them. We're like, oh, these dude from Africa. So everybody around you understanding the whole picture except you. You, only you can fix this. We cannot convince you to anything. And you've never seen him. We're showing you Santa Claus is not real and you're, you're arguing with us. With us. Like, <laughs> the this is accent part and some of this, I am seeing more. The amount of pushback Jody was giving us. Bro, every time she pushes back, 
I'm telling you, I would have swore at her, bro. I, I would have just closed this case because you can't help someone that doesn't want to be helped. And realistically, I would not help a piece of shit like her. Didn't make any sense. She had been sending Celine money for years and he claimed he didn't even know who she was. Like that, that alone. Let, let's put aside everything else. The person you're sending money to for years has said on camera, on the phone call. No, I don't know who she is. I don't know. Doesn't that ring some kind of bell in your empty head, you shit? Oh, my days, man. There's no brain there, clearly. So surely you'd be able to hear the bell ringing. Who she was. And she still hasn't video chatted Colin. So we decided to hop into some of the information that we were able to pull. We're just gonna go over some of the pictures because we have way more evidence. This image has been found all over the internet. It's been used for oh. many romance scams. This is the same exact document, same exact it's Different address. name. Yeah. Here are using the same information. They're using same, the same signature. Templates, and they're just passing it around with each other. Did you have any questions about that? Not yet. Shut Colin's up. using this man's image, but he's also using this man's image. So That's he's using two one. different profiles. I didn't even, All of I didn't the even see that, you that you've been sent are literally the same photo, which is that original one down there that's tagged. I think it's uh, from about 15 years ago. So if this was all real, why would he have to send you a photo? Oh my God, the, the head is photoshopped and it's just the same... <laughs> That takes skill, you know, in seven, eight years to pull the same pose, wear the same hat, and the hat is always in the same position. Oh, Colin, you got skills. I don't know if he realized that I noticed it was fake. Whether or not you noticed it, why would he do it at all? So you noticed and still know. sent money. He was just trying to give me an updated photo and I just But it's not I picked up on it because of some other things I have seen about pictures that look fixed. I don't know what happened on that. Why, how, who, what? What's your gut telling you though? I mean, have you ever sent a fake photo to somebody? The photos I have not been too sure until that photo. His other photos have looked fairly real. Every single photo he sent you is photoshopped from that photo. That one don't look like it. Look at his face. It's the exact his same. face is in the same, same hat. Same exact position and with the same exact hat. That to me that don't mean anything. To me that just means he likes that hat. <laughs> and the angle of the photo. Look at the wrinkle on the cheek. Look at the smile. Look. It's weird the amount of photoshopped photos jody received was absurd in our first interview Bro. with jody lenny was able to find colin's son david's photo on a stock website the original photo i have is a picture of a young man a it's a time. stock photo so it's a stock photo that they would use in um hospital clinic right ad. i'm gonna stop you right there because okay let's put aside maybe you think it's real why are there so many edges? This is so badly photoshopped. It's insane. Ads online, it would be used for drug advertising, different things like that, anything hospital related. I have tried to talk to him more about video chatting and um, he says he's gonna do it. He has said before that when he goes to the airport, he has kind of shown me that Ghana is not a very caring helpful country you haven't video chatted your boyfriend and eight you don't even know what he looks like other than I, the photo that you know is photoshopped i have How does no that make sense? idea i have no idea jody you've seen all this right we we've shown you the photoshops we've shown you the money mules Salim is taking your money every single month you haven't taken care of yourself this person's lying to you he's verbally abusive on the phone we have proof that this is happening this isn't a relationship that you're in. You're being taken advantage of like for the last seven and a half, eight years. I, I think you're actually addicted out the to talking to him, addicted to having somebody need you, addicted it's, to have somebody text you. It's nice. 
it's nice the way he's kind of so sweet and everything. I have seen some red flags even before I contacted you guys last year. Jody, relation, relationship can be without money. You can find yes. another guy. Why do you need to continue dumping this paycheck to somebody else? Thank pocket? you. That's called jiggle. You pay for this guy. You hire a guy who is dancing for you, but you, do, you don't even see his naked body. What is this? Why you, what mean, is this? What kind funny, of freaking but... relationship is this? It's crazy. It's a nightmare. You need a real friend. I bet the black guy at your church is real nice, too. I don't even like looking at him. Well, that's... Oh, f Yeah. Yeah, just... I don't want to say that I would have thrown her out the window because that, you know, incriminates me, but... I didn't say it, okay? But you know. Oh, you disgraceful piece of shit, bro. I don't even like looking at him. Well done. Good you got scammed. Good. Don't even like looking at oh. him. Oh. Okay, I'm going to... Because he's gonna hear from Africa he's and everything. Africa. Yeah, and it's... it's... Drew's in the room. I've been and black like, the whole time. And about, what about Trump? Yeah, yeah. We got two, two black guys in here. Yeah. Oh, Drew is decent. Obviously, I can't speak for Drew, but for her, if she said, "Oh, Drew's Drew, I'm decent," when when talking and comparing people of the same race, ah, oh, bro. Oh. Yeah. Drew is. What it's it's he's a sweetheart. <laughs> I connected with him a lot. But you over know Lenny. that it's a lot of undecent white guys as well. Nothing to do with nationality. Every culture nationality has decent and undecent <laughs> people with accent without accents. So skin color should not be even <laughs> Jody, for example. This conversation, Jody. Yeah, I know. No, yeah. that's not it or anything. It is it it's... because you're against African American people, but you are <laughs> sending for eight years money to African American guy. During some of this thing, like I said, I have been peeking up more on his peeking text up. and wondering about the language thing because he kept saying, don't go and talk to those guys who threat me. If you've been in the military 30 some years, what? how can you be making those kind of mistakes? What are you talking about? How can you come back to the States, get called back to service, and forget an important item like your wallet. The real man in these photos was not Colin. He is a man by the name of General Hank Taylor. He has nothing to do with this scam. His images were stolen to dupe Jody out of money. Of course. This is Major General Hank oh. Taylor. This is the man in the image that we had identified in the report. Yep. As you know, August 14th, uh, we began uh, this evacuation operation, which really is exactly uh, one week ago uh, today. Since then, uh, we have rapidly deployed thousands Why did she of just troops do that? into Afghanistan. Our footprint continues today to stand at approximately 5,800 troops on the ground, continuing to provide and secure she's trying to, to like Kabul jump on the screen and like kiss him or something. Operations. She's nodding her head. As you know, these troops were both prepositioned in the CENTCOM <laughs> AOR, as well as deployed from the United States. I swear, States. she says. Then as uh, forces yeah, that's steadily him. flowed in, we successfully secured you know. the Kabul airport. That's him. If you recall, uh, the situation just... The... This has been a long, hellish nightmare. Uh, you are a over nightmare. Around seven years. Um, I don't. I don't care. I'm he not, has called it a I'm dream sorry. or a journey. No, I'm not sorry. I have told him to quit it. It's not a journey. It's a nightmare. Oh, and you are a nightmare. That's how I've always been referring to it. Is it's been a nightmare. <laughs> you are an American nightmare. No Cody Rhodes for my wrestling fans out there. Get your butt home. You've had many opportunities and you have not taken a single step. I am getting finished. I am getting fed up. I'm at that the end of real. my rope. I'm Give actually me a few speaking to her. Weeks. I'm, I'm not meeting up with you. Sorry. Jody unblocked Colin. Great. 
even after understanding that Colin was using fake photos. Um, oh, so she's just gone back to him. And Salim been evicted. Uh, but somehow still receives money from Jody. Well done. What a waste of time this was. Ah, oh, some, do you know, there's some stories that you just have to leave, right? From the first few minutes, you can tell if someone wants to be helped or not. I would have left, bro. Is there any more to this? Because it's pissed me off, to be honest. I hate her. Um, you guys have wasted your time. Thank you, everyone, for tuning Thank in. Thank you. Thank you for making me tune in to something that just didn't get resolved. What a waste of their money and resources. Could I say what a waste of my time? Don't really have a life. <laughs> Hopefully you guys didn't enjoy that because she's a piece of shit. And I kind of wanted this to flow a bit more. I didn't pause it as much. Hopefully that is better for some of you because I get some people who dislike me for some reason. And one of the comments was actually a racist piece of shit. But we'll address that in a future video. Oh, look forward to that, isn't it? Hopefully you guys did enjoy the actual reaction and stuff. What can we say here other than Jody? I'm happy you got scammed. Shame. I'll see you guys on the next one. If there is any more that you would like me to react to, you would want me to absolutely lose my shit to, leave it in the comments. Take care. And again, hopefully you guys had a good holiday. Spend it with your loved ones. I'll see you next time. Thank you for all the support. Peace. And it doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop. The racism doesn't stop. Because we move now to a potentially racist. But I'm going to say she is racist because she likes the fact that the scammer is being racist. So she's racist. Go see it.